Just like that, time to put some rods out. Had a guy stop me asking, hey, what's a, a good time for you to get my picture out here? Oh. Every time. That's certainly a something or another. I don't know what. Stingray. That is definitely better than nothing. Yep. We're at the spot. It is about a third of the way up the tail. That guy right there. You see it sticking ah. off the tail? Like a little dagger? I see it now. Tail sword. Yeah, I wasn't gonna get near it. <laughs> yeah, they don't they don't play. Another one. Slightly. The day of the ray. All right, well, of course my battery died right as this started, but I got the camera rolling again. That is definitely the biggest bluefish I've ever caught out here. I'm gonna rinse him off right quick and we're gonna keep him. Look at the size of that sucker. Look at the size of that sucker. 
Is that a blue fish or a blue runner? I don't know. But, uh... That's 15 inches total. 14 to the fork. So we are definitely going to, uh... I think we're going to bleed and keep this. That was a hit and then slack in this rod. A lot of slack. I think I got whatever that was. Small whiting. I think we might save you for some cut bait, buddy. Not sure what's going on with this rod, but we're gonna pull it in now. That's for sure. What have we got here? Is that a baby jack? Holy cow, y'all. <clears throat> that is my first ever jack on Tybee. That's awesome. What a day. Man, that really sucks that uh, Chris left when he did because uh, not only have I caught the biggest, you hear him grunting? A little baby torpedo. That is awesome. Baby Jack Cravel. Look at the strong mouth, sharp teeth. That's super cool. That is wicked. I'm gonna set him back. See you, buddy. Baby submarine. All right, so we're gonna do our best to fillet this thing up. I've watched some videos on cleaning bluefish. I've never cleaned one myself, but uh, I'm gonna approach it just like any other fish, really. Um, the one thing I do know about bluefish is that they have some dark meat near the skin. And you, that's why you wanna bleed them real good not terrible for my first time with one of these suckers and now we do the same thing on this side now I can already see it I don't know if you can see it there but underneath the flesh there's the darker bloodline and I, I guess like a whole blood layer 
Uh, so we're gonna try and leave a little bit of meat along the skin. Oh, I did remember that there's a little bit of a thing here with the bones. We want to cut a V here first, and that helps get rid of that. So then... That's not terrible. I probably could have taken a little bit more meat there, but you can see the darkness under there. All that's the fatter, oilier, fattier, oilier, oilier, fishier meat, and that's the whiter, better meat. That's probably going to taste way better. We're going to try on this other one, leaving a little bit more of that just to taste the difference because this is my first time cooking a bluefish. So. We'll go a little, I'm, not, I'm still not gonna go all the way close, but we'll go a little closer to the skin on this one. And you can see, that left some more red as opposed to this being completely clean. All right, so I didn't really show the process because I'm totally just making this up as I go, but I'll tell you what I did. Uh, that is the bluefish fillets. Um, I laid them down on some pads of butter, a few little pads of butter. And then I put salt and pepper on the fillets, then some more butter on top, uh, sprinkled some dried rosemary on there because that's really the only herbs I got right now, and sliced some lemons and put them on there. And then I'm going to fold this foil boat up and put it on the grill at 350 degrees for uh, 15 minutes or so, 15 or 20 minutes. And we're going to roll with that, keeping it simple. What are you doing, Bear? What are you doing? So we got the trusty old Weber heated up. Right about 350. Might kick on the other burner for just a second. Get her cranked up just that little extra notch before I uh, open it up. Yeah, see now it's just above the 350. I got my pooch here. Crank this sucker up. There we go. Pooch applied. I think it'll stay right about 350 with just the one burner on high. I may not want it to be quite as direct a heat as that. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. That's fine. It's great. Here we go. We're rolling. All right been about 15 and a half minutes or so I hear that sucker sizzling it got just a little above 350 but I don't think it messed it up I'm just gonna take it out with the tongs cut off my heat don't forget to turn off your gas Let's go check it out. All right, time for the big reveal. I'll try to do this one-handed. Probably overdid the butter, but uh, I would rather over than under on a new fishy fish like this. Um, fishy fish. <laughs> Uh, it's looking pretty good. I wish I'd had some actual fresh herbs, but I think I'll get more of a flavor of the actual fish as opposed to a bunch of herbs so I know what herbs I want to use on it in the future. This is my first time really eating bluefish, so I kind of want to know what to do. I want to know where I'm starting. So I went really basic. But it looks done. <coughs> <coughs> 
probably just gonna eat it right out of here. Um, yeah. All right, so here it is. Hey guys, settle down. I'm trying to trying to do something here. <laughs> My animals may interfere, but uh, and I brought some Cristal Louisiana hot sauce and some Kikaman soy sauce because. I don't know what's going to happen here. Got a soda for a soda. So, I think this is the thinner one without the red on the back. It's pretty good. This is the thicker one. I'm not really noticing a whole lot of difference. It's kind of there regardless. And it's not that bad. I feel like I didn't even do a milk soak like I normally like to do on most fish to soak some of the fishy flavor out of it. I wanted to really taste the fish so I could know like, let's say I caught some of these on a camping trip and didn't have milk with me. Would I want to go ahead and keep it and cook it? Or would I want to say no thanks and hold out for something better? Um, I, I think as long as you bleed it, which I did, um, and clean it pretty quickly when you get back, you know, keep it cold, that sort of thing and try not to leave too much of the red on it. You know, even even with this thicker piece, there still wasn't that much red on it. It wasn't too bad. It was definitely there though. You could see it. Um, I think um, I think this is a perfectly good fish to, to eat, especially if you prep it like this with the citrus very good that's what everybody suggested most of the recipes were citrus based which I think is the only I believe I had bluefish we thought it was blue runner I think it was actually bluefish on a camping trip with Conan and uh, we cooked it basically exactly like this but we went and got some herbs from the grocery store and uh, <coughs> just like that time it is delicious. So bluefish catch and cook, totally successful. Um, I, I only cooked this because um, I didn't really plan on doing this. Uh, so I didn't have like sides or like a meal prepared. I just happened to have lemons. There was some dried rosemary in the cabinet and uh, butter, salt, pepper. Um, and it worked out. So yeah, do it. Thanks for watching this episode of Fish and Control, and we'll see you on the next trip. I'm going to finish my lunch. <laughs>